Pastos Biology, Topics from the Study Guide. More information can be found at this website, www.mgc.edu slash faculty slash jpasto. Cells, from Chapter 3 in the Study Guide. Now, as you gather, this is a pretty complicated unit because I spend a lot of time on cells. Uh, I feel that if you understand what a cell is and how it works, then you understand a lot about how the human body operates. First of all, let's get our bearings. This square thing you see in the middle of the screen is a cell. Now, granted, it's a very schematic view of the cell, highly schematic. If you look inside the cell, well, first of all, the cell is surrounded by a membrane. It's called the plasma membrane. Above that, which I'll show you in a moment, is an enlargement of the plasma membrane to show the general structure of a membrane. Inside the cell is the cytoplasm, the semi-liquid material that fills the cell, and floating around in the cytoplasm are the various organelles of the cell. For example, here's a circle. This is the nucleus. It's surrounded by a double-layered membrane, the nuclear membrane. Notice the numbers. The numbers refer to the organelles that you see in, in the study guide. Filling the cytoplasm are layers and layers of membrane material. This is called endoplasmic reticulum. You'll understand more about that as time goes by. Another series of membranes often taken the form of curved membranes like this is the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi body. There are many many types of sacs in the uh, cytoplasm of the cell. Number four represents a sac called a transport vesicle and number five a slightly different sac. This one is a secretory vesicle. We'll talk later about what's happening to the secretory vesicle. In addition to that, another organelle is one I call the food vacuole. Better yet, it's called a phagosome, but I think the food vacuole is appropriate. And then there's another called the lysosome. Now, I know these terms seem difficult to remember, but if you remember some of the Latin and Greek terms, it'll be easier to remember what these terms are. Some, for example, or soma, means object or body. Lys means to dissolve. I may have mentioned that Lysol dissolves dirt. At least it was advertised that way. In addition to that are some other organelles. Here's one. Now it doesn't really look quite like this, but this is the mitochondrion. Again, don't be confused by singulars and plurals. Plural would be mitochondria, singular mitochondrion. Notice the mitochondria have two membranes, a smooth outer membrane and a folded inner membrane. Uh, the folds of the membrane are called Christi, and I'll show you that in a moment. Below this cell is an enlargement of the mitochondrion. 